of Islam. If this is Akhiru Zaman, then remember the mastermind of Akhiru Zaman is Al Masih al Dajjal, about whom the Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. Every prophet has warned his people about the job. You heard it so many times, you could end the hadith for me now. Every prophet has warned his people about the job. And the prophet Nuh alayhi salam warned his people about the job. Hadith of Sahih Bukhari. But I am going to tell you something that no one has ever said before. So this is saved for the last. So this must be of absolutely crucial importance. What is it? The Jal sees with the left eye. He's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grip. But your Lord is not one-eyed. Between his eyes on his forehead is written the word kafir. Kaf, fa, ra. Disbeliever. And every mu'min will be able to read kafir. Whether that mu'min is katib or ghayru katib. Whether he is literate or illiterate, he still be able to read kafir. In previous lectures, we have interpreted this religious symbolism. But there are those who are pursuing or adopting a different methodology, the Salafi. And uh, I am not wearing any boxing gloves. No. This is an intellectual discourse. No boxing gloves. And they say... That if Allah and his messenger have not interpreted, we have no right to interpret. And so they are waiting for someone who will stand up and declare, I am Al-Masih, the Messiah. But in order to recognize him as the false Messiah or Dajjal, he has to be literally one-eyed. Meaning he has to be blind in the right eye like Moshe Dayan. No? And then they will say, oh here he is, this is Dajjal. And I say to them with the Salafi methodology, you got a long wait ahead of you. We have interpreted this as religious symbolism. And we have all, always, always warned our audience when we give our opinion, do not accept our opinion unless and until you are convinced that it is correct. This is the respect we show for the intellect of those who want to learn from us. And so we said, that when he sees with his left eye, the left eye symbolizes external sight. And when he is blind in the right eye, it symbolizes internal blindness. So he is only one track in knowledge. Knowledge comes to him only from the scientific method. External observation and experiment and experimentation and rational inquiry. But Surah Al-Kahf of the Qur'an 